So how's everyone doing? Everyone is back to work and thank God I am back. I'm so happy to be back in my little room. Um, I've had a few clients in with me for the last few days. Um, seems to be the same stuff coming up for them all. It's always the same. I always get a rake of clients who are either looking for a baby or then a rake of clients that have heart problems or a rake of clients that have anxiety and fears always have uh, you know the same clients back to back clients because what happens is the client is coming as the client comes and they talk about their stuff and their trials and tribulations whatever they're going through that teaches me to teach me so I can then go and talk to the next person who comes and then they'll give me their similar story similar holding energy in the same place and then they also help with the client that's coming the following day so it always works out like that it's you know, I'm just because I'm here and I'm a Reiki practitioner and I'm putting my hands on people and I would be seen as a Reiki teacher, a master, a Reiki healer. You learn every day. There's no masters in this. I'm learning from my clients every day. So the general gist of the last few days and the last uh, few, few clients that I've had is probably everybody else's story out there where you're all feeling it. You're all feeling this energy that's um out there at the moment. This energy that's within you and it also this energy that's outside and because we've been at home for the last you know whatever it is many weeks we've been at home for we've got to spend a lot of time with ourselves got to spend a lot of time going inward then being outward and looking at what was going on around us even though yeah we've had the pandemic even though yeah all this mad stuff is going on around us we've still got a chance to actually go within and actually spend a bit of time with ourselves and i said this during the um the pandemic when we were at home if there is a job that if you have a job that you're in at the moment and you love it, great. But most people don't love the job that they're in. I could, could come out here and do this all day long, 24 hours if I was allowed to do it because I absolutely love my job. I, I It's not even a job to me. I absolutely love doing Reiki and helping people. That is my path. That's where I'm fully in alignment, where I absolutely am at one with what I came in to be. But there's people out there who have been at home and have been doing their, you know, job at home as well as trying to mind children and be a teacher and a barber and a cook and all of those things that we've been doing for the last few weeks. And then having to go back to the job physically back into an office or physically back into a job with the, um, that which they've had for years. And a lot of them are saying, oh, God, I hate my job. I actually hate it. Now that I've been out of it, I actually really hate it. So if the job is that the job that you're in is a job that you don't like being in think to yourself give yourself you know a vision board or um sit with yourself and do a meditation and say where am i supposed to be what would i really like to do would i like to be more creative would i like to um do something with children would i like to work part-time and do something else on the side and it's I know that there's lots of people out there that have lost their jobs. I oh, could totally get that. And I know that there's people out there who are fearful of, oh God, no, I'm not going to change my path. I'm not going to go down the road and do something else. Because if I do that, the fears come in and then they go, I'm not going to have enough money to pay my bills. I'm not going to have money, money to pay my mortgage and for my food and, and that. Um, But what happens is you you go into that vibration of fear and you the vibration of lack where you fear that if you go and you change your path, you're going to go down a road where you're not going to have enough. When actually, if you put it out there to the universe and say to the universe, I'm ready for the job that I was meant to come in here for. I'm ready for what I was meant to be. I'm ready to go out and step into full alignment of what I really want to do in my life. That gives me joy in my heart. Ask the universe for it. And if you ask the universe for it, the universe provides it always does if you put out that vibration of i know i'm going to get this job i know i'm going to be in a job that i'm going to love doing every single minute that i'm in it the job will come for you it may not come instantly so that's why i always say to people if you can do your job that you're doing at this moment in time you do a part-time and do something else on the sideline and you run them both together you can do you know like say for instance you know doing a job where you're um working as an sna and then you want to also be a reiki practitioner or do something creative like painting or making jewelry on the side or 
you know whatever if, if you're a man you may not go to, want to go down that creative road you may say actually I'd love to it, be in my job three or four days a week it's very stressful but I'd actually for the other two or three days make something where it's um you know do something with your hands woodwork or whatever right so it, whatever it is that brings you joy is what then um fills your heart with this a much better energy Sorry, my cat is jumping on the roof here behind me. She's like a fucking thunder, thunder and lightning. So if if you can go down the road and do something that you really love doing, you'll never work a day in your life, right? So try because you've been in this, you know, bubble where you've been at home. Now start to put your um, little vision board out there and say, what do I really want in my life? Did you have fun being at home with your children, actually spending time? I know a lot of you did have fun, even though you know you you know the pandemic was going on there was lots of uncertainties and all those I know a lot of you out there said oh my god I actually really enjoyed it I enjoyed having to work from home I enjoyed actually having less uh, work uh, load I did a you know part-time job try to then use that module that you had and then bring it forward into your now which is today and what's happening today and say okay well maybe I'm actually will cut me hours down to three or four days a week and I'll do something else that will you know get me put me on a different path there's so many of you out there that absolutely hate the job that you're in hate being in it get up every morning and say oh my god I can't believe I have to go into this you know get into my car and drive into this job and be in there with people around me that you know is not on my vibe anymore you as you move up and what because of the energy that's the shifting that's going on now at the moment this purging of old energies old beliefs all these um conditions that we had that we had to do this in order to get this there's 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 a new energy that's coming in for us now and as it's moving up within our body the physical body is purging this old energies old conditions old beliefs old paradigms all of these things that we're purging out of our body it's coming up through us and as it comes up through the physical body, as I said this before in one of my other um, videos, it's like if you can imagine us being a hoover or you can imagine us um, trying to bring this energy up through our bodies and as old energies from other lifetimes that we've lived, old energies from stuff that we've pushed down, suppressed down that's in our body. As that energy is coming up and purging up through us, it's coming up and physically coming up to the surface, right? And as it comes up and comes up to the surface, it comes out of us in rage, anger, all of these, you know, things that I've been going through over the last few weeks. And my husband said I'm bipolar, but it's it's not that I'm bipolar, it's that I'm actually just Al alchemizing and this changing and shifting this energy and if I'm a spiritual person and I'm alchemizing my energy and the energy that's within me I can only imagine what normal person out there is doing so as this energy is coming up through the body it's coming up through us and it brings up all of these old negative horrible feelings old emotions and it's purging up through the physical body and as it does that it needs to come up and come out and off us and purge out off us and sometimes that comes out with bursts of anger um a burst out crying and um, just feeling um unwell feeling um depressed having a suppression of energy where you feel depressed and, and the energy is suppressed in you and it feels like it can't get out um all of the uh, ascension symptoms the physical ascension symptoms that we've been going through over the last few weeks where the ringing of the ears the eyes the flickering the um the the popping of energy in your body that is has the energy is purging out of our system and it has to do that to come out of us you'll find it we're going to the loo more we might find we have a dose of the runs all of those things are happening at the moment for us all and you know it's if i talk about it and tell you how i'm ex having have any experience then you'll say oh my god maybe i'm actually having an ascension symptom as well and it's nothing that's wrong with you we have to go through this energy purging first for us to be lighter and when i did a meditation during like my guides showed it to me like um they showed me the imagery of a balloon we've all had you know where we were given a bunch of balloons and they have a weight on the bottom of it so you can imagine a balloon being you and there's lots of weights on the bottom of this balloon and those weights are your old emotional energies your old uh, conditions your old beliefs all of these old things that are 
pulling the balloon or you down and the more you let go of a weight in other words the weights of the world that you're carrying the more you let go of each one of those weights the more your balloon raises up and as your balloon raises up that's as while your physical body is ascending so if you can imagine you being that balloon the, as the weights are coming off as this energy is being released off your body and being purged out of you the balloon raises up and as that balloon raises up you then raise into a different vibration of energy and when you raise into a different vibration of energy the old job that you had doesn't serve you anymore the old friends that you may have had for 20 or 30 years they don't serve you anymore the people around you who are sapping the energy from you they don't serve you anymore because your energy has now shifted up to a different vibrational level and as your energy shifts up to a different vibration level we're going from the 3d energy that we're in at the moment moving up as we purge 4d 5d some people going to 6d and as we purge this energy off of us as we're having these outbursts and these um feelings of anger and these feelings of rage or be these feelings of being bipolar or hormonal or whatever it is depression whatever it is this is the purging that's happening at the moment in the physical body we need to allow it to happen don't beat yourself up or judge yourself because you are having this purge. It is so normal at the moment. So many people are going through it. There's people out there who are obviously out there doing their protesting and getting out their rage and their anger doing that. There's people who are physically doing it in their homes, having outbursts. My son said to me last night, I don't think I'm going to survive tomorrow. But that's just it, it's I'm not going to judge myself I'm actually going through my purge and I totally understand what it is that I'm going through and I go out in the morning time I ground I go and do my meditations to try to help me to alchemize this energy to change this dense energy that I have within me because we're, tr we're turning this energy from this dark energy that we have this old emotional energy that we have within us and we're trying to turn that dark energy into light as we're alchemizing it and as it's coming up purging up through the body so we've got to purge and we've got to go through those that shift and ascension symptoms that we're going through so if it is that you have you know stepped back out into the world and you've come back out and you're going back into this job that you absolutely hate you're being with the same crew that you're you know your friends or people around you that your so-called friends who are the energy sappers who have been sapping the life out of you, your partner who may be an energy sapper your your brothers and sisters your siblings your parents that may be sapping the energy and all of a sudden you're raising this vibration energy up because you're purging it off you it's coming off you and you recognize that it's purging off you Feel it, do not conceal it, let it go. It's the greatest, the great words of Elsa. She came here to teach all the kids that in Frozen. We're the generation that are, the, we hang on to stuff. We're the gen, well, I'm, my generation is, the older generation before me was get out, stop crying. You weren't allowed to really show your emotion. The new um, generation of children that came in, the Elsa, the Frozen children that came in, not Frozen, but the, the movie Frozen, that's why that, that song won um, an Oscar because it's a song that I taught all the children to feel it, do not conceal it, let it go. Feel the energy. Don't hold on to the energy that we all did in our generation and the generation before us did. Feel it, do not conceal it, let it go. So it's okay if your child wants to go in and have a bit of a rage day where they want to bash the pillow out or they hopefully they're not bashing their siblings. But if they're, you know, let them go outside, especially the children and it's also the adults. Get outside, do your grounding. You'll never be sick if you have um, a patch of land in your uh, in your garden or a bit of grass. You'll never be sick if you actually go outside and put your feet in the grass. So important to go outside and ground your energy. On a daily basis, we wear shoes every single day and the shoes have rubber on it. We're not able to ground the energy that's flowing out the soles of our feet and it comes out through your um, into your shoes and then the rubber stops it from going down to the ground when actually it needs to go to the ground to transmute energy. So get out into your gra gra grass while you're purging this energy. Get out into the beach, take your shoes off, say to the your uh, say within yourself, I want this energy, this old energy, this old um stagnant old energy that I'm purging out of me. I want it gone, all the old emotions. I want to surrender and release it now. I'm letting it go. There's no point in taking your shoes off, going out the back and walking around the grass without any intention behind it. You've got to have the intention to say, I'm letting it go. And as you raise, like that balloon, and as it's raising up and it's moving up, going from 3D into 4D into 5D, as we're shifting up, this is when you shift up to the next vibratory level when 
it before when you were somebody else on a different planet and a different dimension you had um gifts where you were able to see you were able to um know what was going on you were able to hear voices you were able to see color around things the way people see auras as your vibrational energy moves up and as you move up into 4D and 5D is when all the light codes are switched on. Anyone who's been listening to my meditations that I do on my YouTube channel where I speak in coding, where I speak with um, cha a channel uh, sound, tone and light language. When they listen to that, it's light codes. It's activating the sh chakra system, the energy system that we have within our body. And it's activating you to remember that you used to do that before when you were fourth dimensional, fifth dimensional being, sixth dimensional being. And it's activating and turning you on. It's like a switch turning you on. But you've got to raise your vibration first to get to that point where the light codes are. And at the moment, we're in 3D. We're moving up into 4D, 5D. And as we move up like that balloon, as we shift off that negative energy that's coming up and purging at the moment, that's when the balloon raises and as you get rid of all the sh shit around you that's causing you grief, the job that's causing you grief, the people that's causing you grief, the people who are the energy sappers, we all have those in our family and our and our friends and our circles where we have that person that goes, whoa me, oh everybody, she's the total victim and that person will drain the life out of you. As you move up and you raise your vibration as you're purging out old energy, those people who are on that vibration level start to be below you and they then attract in other people to sap the energy from them. So it's okay if you start losing friends because maybe you weren't meant to have those friends in your life. It's okay if you lose that job because maybe that job was also affecting you and also causing you to feel depressed every day. It, it may cause you to lose a partner or a person in your, in your life who you feel very close to but all of a sudden nearly overnight you can shift and say oh my god that person is not serving me anymore that is all okay because that's the symptoms that we're going to be going through as we're purging this old energy we are all raising our vibrational energy at the moment whether we like it or not it's coming up through our feet our the, through the crystalline grid in the earth it's coming up through us and we're all raising our physical vibration in our bodies it's, the, it's very rare that it happens where our physical body is now going to raise um, a, ch a change from a 3D body to a 4D body to a 5D body, to moving to different dimensions in the same physical body. Very rare that we do that. Most times what we do is reincarnate. We come down, we go to a third um, the, a 3D planet, then we might go to a 6D planet in our next incarnation, we might go to a 12D planet in our next incarnation. We never ever do it where we change dimension in the same um, body that we came down and incarnated into. Very rare. And this is the first time, very rare that it happens, very rare that it physically happens in the body, as well as Mother Earth is also doing the same shifting. She's doing the same thing where the, the 3D earth is moving from into 4D into 5D. That's why we're having all of this purging that's going on in the earth at the moment. Earthquakes, you know, thunderstorms, all of these things, uh, forest fires, because the earth is purging and getting rid of all the old stuff, as well as us. We're doing it too. So try to be kind to yourself. Do not judge yourself while you're going through this. This is what we're all going through, whether we, we, we're saying it or not. This, I've had clients over the last few days that are saying, oh my God, I thought I was actually going mad. No, you're not. It's the purging of the energy. And one of the other things is, as everybody is coming out, I've noticed that myself today, people have been so um, anxious about coming back to work, coming back out into the work environment where they're in other people's energies, are afraid of giving them the COVID-19, afraid of touching these masks and gloves and all of that. And this two um, metre distance between us. My guide said that the actual reason for the two metre distance is because we're trying to deal with the energy within ourselves. We can't deal with everybody else's energy, hence why they've given us that distance between us and somebody else's energy. That's a good thing. So be respectful of that if somebody's in front of you. Don't be right behind and breathing down their neck because you're in their bubble of energy. Be mindful of being outside. Be mindful of how other people are around you that 
there may be people around you who are dealing with a sick child at home and have people who are low immunity or high risk and they're going around with masks and gloves on and washing their hands every five minutes because they don't want to be the one to be have the guilt on their conscience to go home and have given it to one of their parents at home. So be mindful of them, even though it might be for you that you want to go out and say, I don't care, I don't, don't want to wear a mask, I don't want to wear gloves, it's a load of bull. Whatever you believe is what you believe. It's your way. It's the right way for you. Whatever what I believe is the right way for me. And there's no wrong or right in this. Whatever you believe is your choice. Whatever I believe is my choice. And if I believe that my choice is here to be uh, cautious, not to cr uh, cross contaminate, not to give anybody um, any of my bugs, that's what I believe to be for me. And if you don't believe that, that's totally perfect and fine. But try to be mindful of the, especially the social distance when you're out there because as a social distancing thing, it's actually more to do with, on a spiritual sense, the energy. You're not to be anybody else's bubble of energy while we're going through the shifting because we're trying to deal with the energy within ourselves without having to deal with anyone else's. As I always say to my children when they go out in the morning time, put yourself in a bubble of light, a big bubble of light. See yourself surrounded by this golden light and nothing else is going to come into that bubble. Try to get in that into your head for you to do that too because it is so important at this moment in time while we're going through this purging that we need to batten down the hatches, put our bubble up around ourselves so we can also protect our own energy as we're alchemizing this new energy that's coming in and this purging that's happening. Be kind to yourselves over the next few weeks. It's happening, guys. It's not going to happen overnight. There's a purging that's going to happen that's going to happen for years this is the start of it we're really feeling it now as we're coming out back out into the world you've got to do your grounding you've got to do your water you've got to do your meditating this is where you can go within more and talk to your own guides about this this is my perspective of it as you know if it doesn't serve you and it's not doesn't feel right and it's not resonating with you jog on and go on to something else <laughs> There's plenty more people out there who are talking about it at the moment and if it doesn't resonate with you what I'm saying that's perfectly fine because it just doesn't resonate with you're not on, on that, that level with me. So be mindful of um, yourselves and please don't judge yourselves it's totally normal we're all going through the porch we're all feeling a bit bipolar that's perfect. Um, also if any one of you out there who have been messaging me about my new um, Reiki clients that are coming in I'm trying to get through the backlog of the ones who I cancelled before and also all my quantum healing, the past life regression clients, um, that's five hour sessions, so I've got to get through them too. So I will be doing uh, sessions um, into August as well. I'm coming back up and down from British. I normally go off there for six weeks, as you know, in the summertime, but because I've had a lot of time off um, as such, not from Reiki, but uh, from Reiki, but not from everything else. I will be going at it a little bit slower than normal, but I promise you I'll get to you. So message me phone, email, whatever way, whatever social media platform you want and I will try and get to you. Um, and as you know, sometimes the slot becomes available and I'll put it out there and if it's meant for you, you will get the slot and it'll happen for you quickly if you are the basket case that really needs it. So be mindful and mind yourselves guys and namaste.